What's going on everyone? Jan Hella here, and today, <sighs> we're driving out of the parking spot. Should have shaved this in to make my jawline look more defined, but I didn't. So right now, we're in my car. Um, we're gonna head to the shop, which is in San Francisco. And if you're up to date, which hopefully some of you are, we're shutting back down. It, um, man, it sucks, you know? Um, we thought that we had a couple more weeks at the very least, and damn, camera, you are jingle jangling. Me and a couple clients, we kind of called it. We said it'll be about a week or two after Thanksgiving, and we're not wrong. So the thing is, we thought we had a couple more weeks. We thought that, you know, maybe we would shut down mid-December. That was the initial, that was the initial rhetoric the news had told us, right? They said that we we're gonna shut down potentially mid, mid, uh, mid December, if hospitals and case numbers and all that went, went to hell. Fortunately, they have not and potentially will not, which is, you know, which is good. But San Francisco wanting to be ahead of the curve decided to shut down now better or worse i don't know in my opinion it's a little too soon but who am i to say right who am i to say we gotta do what we gotta do it sucks <laughs> i won't lie it sucks because at this point now we're scrambling right like heard the news last minute we heard the news yesterday and now we gotta scramble to fit people in last minute and it's a little funny this kind of feels like a normal holiday rush which is you know which is fun you know kind of grind out first thing in the morning till the last thing in the evening. An interesting one. So I'll be doing a time lapse in the shop and yeah, hopefully it comes out to something cool. So I'll update you then. We'll see you then. That's gonna wrap it up for our day here in the barbershop. Seven till 10, I think 10 o'clock. Let's find out, hold on. I'm actually curious to see what, uh, what time it is. Seven to 10.30, so that concludes it for now. We are back at it again tomorrow at 7 a.m. until 10 o'clock again at night, and uh, from then, we're closed. So, check back tomorrow. I'm not doing nothing yet. I'm looking at, I'm looking at me. This is the last day of Dog Patch Barbershop 2020. That's a wrap. Yo, that's it. That's it. We done. We shut down. Let me talk. All right. Yo, check this out. Yo, this is the owner right here. This is Chris Cream Barber, you dig? Yeah, he's all right. You know, he, he can cut kind of hair a little bit, a little something slight. But I'm going to tell you. He's a good dude, and he's kept his shop open. Sometimes. He's kept his shop open for over six months with nobody but him. So, right. man, mad love, for real, for real. 2020, 2021 20, 20, better, right? Let's go! Hey, nigga, you fuck, you fuck with Chris, nigga, I smoke your ass. Oh shit. Oh, 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 he done went there. He done went there. What's up? Hey, bring the camera on. <laughs> hey, hey.
this is the day after, you know, our last two days of being able to work. And I can't tell if I'm just overly fatigued for working from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. at night for the last two days straight with maybe, you know, six hours worth of sleep. Um, I don't know if that's the fatigue that I'm feeling or I'm actually feeling a little bit depressed due to, you know, the situation we're in, but that's kind of where it stands right now, you know. Um, last night we were kind of, you know, hanging out in the shop a couple hours after we closed, trying to wrap our head around what's going on for the most part, you know, and I, yeah, like I said, I don't know if I was just fatigued or, or whatever, but I was definitely emotionally stunted at, the, at that moment. Um, I was just taking it all in, you know, just quiet. Like, I don't know. It was a, it's a hard one because throughout the day, we've had several clients come in and just express, you know, so much sympathy and empathy towards the situation we're in and try to be optimistic throughout the whole time, you know, trying to be jubilant throughout all of it. Um, but it was hard, you know. It was hard to maintain that, that level of energy and positivity because as the clients came in and gone, we're dwindling down to our last few hours. And I think that was um, I think that was one of the hardest things was knowing that, okay, well, here we are. Two more hours left, one hour left, and we're done. Uh, it was rough. To say the least, it was rough. Um, gauging it all. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> I keep hoping that we're doing it for the betterment of everyone, um, just to try to, try to find reason, try to find logic, which I, my opinion is lacking. Um, yeah, just trying to make sense of it all. And <sighs> I, I think that's the thing. I think I am getting a little bit depressed because I don't know how to word what I want to say right now. Um, that kind of sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I'm not trying to be depressed. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be in a dark spot, but you know, when it comes down to it, people can only do this for so long, for so much until it takes its toll. Right. And the fact that we are put in position such as this is just heartbreaking. It's demoralizing. Um, try to see the bright side to it all, but it's not really coming together. It's not really coming to fruition. You know, however many months later, right, since March, we're not, see we're not seeing any real progress, in my opinion at least. Um, steps in the right direction, but nothing actively being done. So, yeah. Um, I do put a lot of emotional investment into my clients. Um, and I would like to think that it's paid off in the long run for the rapport that we've built, um, for the support they've shared and given, and the continued support they continue to to, um, to provide us. Um, it's, you know, immeasurable. And I want to believe that these last few years of support, you know, putting my all into it has paid off in some way or another. No, I have no idea how to really put this, you know? I mean... I appreciate every single client that reached out to say, hey, I know you're shutting down. I want to do my part in supporting you, so do you have any time? And, you know, you can always say, oh, maybe just selfishly they want to get a haircut, be, you know, before we lock down. I wouldn't say, you know, for my situation, I wouldn't say so because a lot of them came in, you know, two weeks after their last haircut, and they don't come in that frequently. They don't. They, they, there was no call to action that required them to respond. They did it on their own. And it's just, you know, super, super appreciative of, of that support. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to, uh, how to, uh, wrap this one up, but, um, you know, I guess I'm going to be. I'm going to do 
I'm gonna have a lot more time vlogging, I can tell you that much. I'm gonna have a lot more time to do this YouTube stuff, so obviously it's not gonna be barbering related now, right? I mean, I kind of made that point in previous videos that it's not gonna be barbering related. I guess right now I don't have a choice. I did have some, funny enough, I did have some videos I wanted to do with some of the barbers, and hopefully with this free time with all of us, we can make that happen, come to, make it all come to fruition. So, yeah, and as I guess the emotions rise and the tears well up and the uncertainty still remains, until the next time, pop hard.